This is going to be a discussion of Warhammer, Hammer and Bolter, episode 2, uh, Bound for Greatness. And the reaction is now going to commence. Is great librarian, so that lowly servants such as oh, hmm. So the Emperor, okay, this is interesting, interesting, interesting. I do have some knowledge. Okay, with what's happening here, maybe? Another floating skull. Wait, so the skull, the skull is part of the theme of the... <laughs> Slosh. I don't know why I laughed at that. Hmm. Okay. Okay. No talking. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, a book is missing. What's the point of you studying the books if you are... Wait. Hmm. Hmm. Who's using the books? The elders? Prefix? Whatever? Okay. <gasps> what? <laughs> there should be no reading, eh? How can they read if they're forbidden to do so? I mean, I don't know what this is. Are you seriously telling me that the evil chaos gods are- Huh. Interesting way to show the corruption. Very messed up that- Was this real? So the knowledge? Wait. So they're not supposed to be actually reading these books. I'm getting confused. I thought this would be an interesting thing where maybe he's supposed to read the book and figure out the truth about something. Okay. Maybe this was all in his head and- What? To receive such- Auspicious guests. Auspicious. Quite good. Okay. Hmm. Of course. Okay. I'm lost. Why are you panicked, Joe? Did you see something you should have? I'm confused. What did you see? There are no women in this, which maybe that's supposed to be the case? Oh. Ooh, some talking. You did? Did you read it? No. Hmm. Tell me. Where did you find it? Book 71A, where I count. Huh, okay. Hmm. I think that name is supposed to tell me anything, but then again, there is apparently a lot of books in this, so... Wait, wait. The Primars, I'm not wrong, are the sons of the Emperor, right? I think that's right. I literally listened to it yesterday. Figured it out, maybe. I mean, apparently at 40k, there is only one of his sons currently in play. Legitimate. The book is missing. Both! Both! Why are you talking? There is no adept bold. Huh. Wow. Hmm. Yikes. What? God, I don't know what's happening. God. So clearly no, he's an alien. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe the Emperor should just burn this whole place down. Huh? Don't open them. Yeah, that's him. That's the extra book. Ah, okay. Alright, he just imagined the guy. The form of the prefect? Hmm. Okay, this is all in his head. Okay. What's the of this library? What was its point? Huh? I don't know what's happening. Probably I should have stopped and actually read it myself, but then again, I... S I don't know. Emperor of Mankind? Charmer of Ways. What? <laughs> yeah. Why are you leaving this behind? Be ready. Of course. Okay. Wow, no, what's metaphorical and what's, what's, what's literal? And listen well, for I bear words of loving enlightenment. Loving enlightenment, you say? Hmm. And yeah, these guys count and then they find a new book and then eventually turn into the book. And that's because of tech or magic. Or it's the same thing. No, it's not because magic and tech are actually technically different. I know they are. Right? And why is this guy a bird or a demon? He's not an orc, definitely. Hmm. It sure is. I should watch some videos that explain these. Okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should be reading the descriptions of the episodes. You know, that actually makes sense. <laughs> so that I get a better idea of what I'm doing. I would start doing that. But, okay. I don't know whether I want to watch the third episode as well right now. This was intriguing. The information I do know of Warhammer in general, is that the Emperor actually does hate religion. Well, he doesn't, I mean, I don't know whether he hates it, but he definitely is deeply against it. It doesn't matter whether it's of him or someone else's. Uh, he had the only exception is apparently the religion of Mars, but obviously this wasn't it. It wasn't technological at all. At least I think so. I guess, apparently in at 40k, whenever he actually comes back, he is okay with the religion because pretty much everyone already treats him as a god, so it would mess things up if he actually says that he isn't, right? 
I don't know, once again, lack of knowledge is obvious. <sighs> but this episode, it was really messing with my mind. Because that's kind of a slight issue when it comes to stories like these, where the world is so stupidly large, like inconceivably ginormous. And there's magic and technology and uh, other alien species. For It's very difficult for me to tell the difference between someone's mind and reality. And I, it's even more difficult for me to tell whether the show is telling me what actually is happening or whether I'm seeing a different perspective. Where the books were other people, right? That's the secret. Clearly enough, they're just harvesting more and more people. So that they can turn them into books and just read them? Is it some sort of demonic sacrifice? There were demons there. And demons do exist in this world from what I know. So maybe? They're just trying to hype up their chaos gods? I don't know. No, it seems like they were... But why would they be seeing the Emperor? I mean, it seems like... I don't know. I have absolutely no idea. Once again, I really should have read the description. I really should have. Apparently, in the next episode, I'll be seeing an, an important character that has existed in a while. You know, oh, is every single one of these based with an important character? That probably is the case, and I haven't been able to recognize any of them. Probably, probably. But hey, uh, I do know that because I just read the description, apparently the next episode will have an important character, or at least the description says that he is important. Yeah, my interest has definitely been picked, but sadly enough, my lack of knowledge is still a little too obvious and confusing. I mean, sure, sure, whatever is said is said. But uh, we'll see what's gonna happen. Also, I don't, I mean, once again, I have no idea. From the little things I do know, I have absolutely no idea what those guys were uh, they seem to be at least saying that they followed the emperor and their leader is a bird person and there was a demon behind him but I'm still confused whether the shadows are actually an illusion or maybe psychic power or maybe an other alien species <sighs> or something else entirely but and I'm really looking forward to the next one which I'll probably watch right now but for now that is with you can subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did